new revelations about the oceans of water near Earth's core. Did our planet's surface water come from within? Deep below the surface of the Earth, there's a huge reservoir of water, and it is estimated to contain three times the amount of water compared to all the oceans that we know of, which brings a number of scientists to celebrate as it has been something they have been looking for for decades, but it leaves a lot of, da leaves a lot of data. There are even three times as much water can exist near the Earth's core than in the oceans on the surface of our planet, according to the research. In 2014, a scientific team from the U.S. used 2,000 seismometers to study seismic waves from more than 500 earthquakes, as reported by IFL Science. By examining the speed of the waves at different depths, the scientific team was able to determine the type of rocks and wave pass through before reaching the sensors. And then the researchers found that about 435 miles below our feet, 700 kilometers down, in the so-called transition zone between the lower mantle and the upper mantle, there was rock called ringwoodite, ringwoodite, ringwoodite. So what is ringwoodite? It's, it's pointed out that ringwoodite only forms under the intense pressure seen towards the center of our planet. Only one sample from the Earth's interior, also found in meteorites, has been discovered trapped inside a tiny diamond. Also, ringwoodite contains water, not as a liquid, but trapped within the mineral's molecular structure. The geophysicist Stephen Jacobson, in a related announcement from Northwestern University, has stated the following. Ringwoodite is like a sponge, absorbing water. There's something very special about ringulite crystal structure that allows it to attract hydrogen and trap water. This mineral can contain a lot of water in deep mantle conditions. The search for the presence of water near the center of the Earth. Previous experiments have shown that ringwoodite or ringulite, ringudite can contain up to 1.5% water and the seismic waves detected were consistent with the rock in question containing water. The scientific team calculated that if only 1% of the rock in the so-called transition zone is water, this means that it contains three times more water than all the oceans on Earth's surface. And this, in fact, matched their results, which were published in June 2014 in Science magazine. If there is a significant amount of H2O in the transition zone, then there should be some melting in areas where there is flow in the low mantle, lower mantle, and that's consistent with what we found since seismologist Brandon Schmant. However, Steve Jacobson believes that the study contributes to the proof that the Earth's water came from within, quote-unquote, as he argued in New Scientist magazine. In fact, he's emphasized the following. He says, I think we are finally seeing evidence for an Earth-wide water cycle that may help explain the, the vast amounts of liquid water on the surface of our habitable planet, scientists have been looking for this lost water for decades. And this is on Solask. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.